Hey, 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 how are you? My name is Sean Hatzel. I am a stubborn fat expert. I specialize in helping people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s reactivate declining hormones to quickly lose more stubborn fat. And I have a controversial video for you today because I'm going to talk about how people over 40 can reactivate declining hormones by eating more carbs. Yes, you heard that right, more carbs. There are just a few simple rules that you need to follow to make this happen. And when you eat carbs the right way, it can have a profound effect on your body, just like the 12 minute metabolic protocol that I'm gonna introduce you to inside this video that has remarkable and profound effects on the body's hormones. And the similarities between carb intake and metabolic bursting are remarkable. And I have two columns here, I'm gonna share exactly what they are. And you're also gonna see here a column for cardio. And I'm gonna share why doing cardio could actually cause more harm to your metabolism than it does good. And I'm gonna show you how to replace that cardio with a 12 minute movement pattern that uses rest periods, intensity levels, and specific exercises using just your body weight that are strategically designed to reactivate declining hormones to help you increase fat burning hormones to release and burn off more stubborn fat. So over here, you're gonna see RMR. This is resting metabolic rate. And when you're done doing cardio, it only takes about 45 to 60 minutes before the metabolism is back to baseline or normal. Now, when you engage in metabolic bursting protocols using my exercises with your body weight, with my intensity levels, and my rest periods will increase your metabolic rate for up to 38 to 48 hours afterwards. In the science world, this is known as EPOC, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Now in the, com or, uh, in the description below, you can learn all about this 12 minute protocol that can elevate your metabolism for 38 to 48 hours. You'll also see research studies posted below to back up any claims that I make in this video so that you know it's all science-based. So when you eat carbs, it helps increase a process inside your body known as glycolysis. This is what produces your body's primary energy system called ATP. So when you produce more ATP, you burn more calories and you elevate metabolic rate. So unlike cardio, metabolic bursting combined with carbs, and, and, and you just have to eat carbs the right way, I'm gonna share the rules here in a second, can actually increase metabolic rate for hours unlike cardio. Next, you'll see hormones, and I have two of them listed, T4 to T3, which is your thyroid. Now your thyroid is the gland that regulates the metabolism. And when you do cardio, research shows, and I have published studies talking about this, that you have suppressed T4 to T3 conversion. Now remember, this is the gland that regulates the metabolism. Now when you do metabolic bursting, research shows that it actually helps increase the thyroid's efficiency. And when you eat carbs the right way, it actually increases your thyroid efficiency because glucose, which is from carbohydrates that we consume, is actually part of thyroid stimulating hormone. So part of your thyroid hormones is actually glucose. Another reason that you need to strategically be eating carbs, especially if you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s. Now the other thing that this metabolic bursting protocol can do and it's carbs and glucose can do at the right times is reset leptin levels. Now, this is critical because if you're following a low carb diet, paleo, you know, ketogenic, Mediterranean, the good old Atkins, any of these diets, they all work, but it can be a disaster for your hormones if you don't strategically eat carbs and use some refeeds and eat carbs at the right time. The biggest loser contestants from season eight are the perfect example. New York Times published an article and a study that was done and almost all the contestants gained all or more of their weight back because they had metabolic slowdown. So their metabolisms were burning 500 to 700 calories less per day. This is like burning 60 pounds of plus of fat less every single year and their leptin levels plummeted to almost zero because they didn't eat carbs and they did too much of this, too much cardio. So when you use my metabolic bursting protocols, research shows the 20 to 30 second movement patterns that are used can actually reset leptin levels and then glucose consumed at the right times and in the right amounts with the right choices can actually reset leptin levels, especially if you're eating lower carb during the week. So having like a cheat meal on the weekends or carb loading on the weekends can be a very healthy way to reset leptin levels. Now, there's just a few rules you have to follow when eating these carbs to keep your body in a fat burning environment and to get all these amazing hormonal metabolic effects. 
First thing is make sure you always combine your protein or your carb with a protein and a vegetable. This will help keep insulin stable so that you don't get massive blood sugar or insulin spikes. That's what takes the body out of a fat burning environment. Now be careful of your fat intake when you do consume carbs because if you eat too much fat with carbs, because carbs release insulin and insulin is a storage hormone, if too much fat is present, that insulin will take that fat and it will store it. So just keep your carb intake a little bit low and just be conscious, or fat intake a little bit low when you eat carbs and just be conscious of fat intake whenever you eat carbs. Next rule is timing. Post-workout is the time. The muscles are like a sponge. They've been wrung dry. So right after the 12 minute metabolic bursting protocol that's found at the link below in the description here is the perfect time to consume carbohydrates. You just have to make sure that you have the right portion control, which is a fist if your goal is fat loss. It can be two or three fists if your goal is to gain muscle, but one fist, again, with some protein and a vegetable and lower fats, and then your choices are obviously critical. If you're gonna eat a bunch of processed, boxed, high sugar, high chemical, high preservatives, carbohydrates, obviously that's gonna lead to obesity, death, and uh, all kinds of other problems. However, if you choose things like potatoes, ripe bananas, oatmeal, quinoa, sweet potatoes, even white rice is desirable because it's pure glucose. Remember, glucose is part of th your thyroid hormone. So just follow these simple rules and you'll keep the body in a fat burning environment and get all these amazing effects. Now, I wanna introduce you to how to use my 12 minute metabolic bursting protocol. We're almost seven minutes in, so if you're still listening, hang in there because this is the best part. So. To make this work effectively and to get all these effects, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you flatline insulin before you move or exercise. And to flatline insulin, you do you can do one of two ways. You can walk for five minutes if you've eaten in the last couple hours, or fast. So either wait four to five hours after a meal before you engage, or wake up in the morning on an empty stomach and use my 12 minute metabolic protocol. What this will do, because the stomach is empty and you're in a fasted state, this is what helps kick up the sympathetic nervous system so that when you engage in my 20 to 30 second movement patterns, it forces the body to release, which is step two, growth hormone and adrenaline. In fact, a couple studies show that these movement patterns and my 12 minute protocol can actually increase growth hormone 400 to 771%. Now, so after you flatline insulin, now you release the hormones. These are the hormones that are responsible for releasing triglycerol from your fat cells into the bloodstream. This is where they convert into fatty acids that can be burned off, and this is how you shrink a fat cell. So these are the hormones that are responsible for releasing this triglycerol from your fat cells so that you can shrink your fat cells and quickly lose more stubborn fat. The other thing you'll do is release more adrenaline and adrenaline is also a catalyst to helping you burn more belly fat. And number three, the last thing that you want to do when you engage in this 12 minute protocol is avoid fat defense. This is a process known as re-esterification in the science world. And it's where the, your body will take these free fatty acids that are floating around in your bloodstream from rules one and two, and it'll restore them into another area of your body. So you have to stop fat defense. There's a very simple way to do that. All you have to do is click the link in the description of this video. You'll go over to my website and you'll just discover exactly how to prevent and avoid fat defense by getting all these amazing benefits from metabolic bursting and strategic carb intake. Thanks for watching this and keep going strong.